guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be looking at another classic board game, um, but also with the Simpsons twist. And I've already talked about the Simpsons Clue, which um, is a fun game, it's a fun variant of Clue. Uh, plays the same, but it's all the Simpson characters. So this one's pretty much the same idea. Now, I remember the game of life was different when I was a kid. I, I used to love playing this game with my friends. But it, it played a little bit different. There was different rules to it. Uh, I think even the money di was different. Um, but then they, have a, they, they obviously updated the game as you know time goes on. They have to modernize it and they have to change it around. So this one kind of follows those uh, the, the newer, more current rules of playing life. Um, it's okay. It's not, it's not bad. But... And then there's the side there. Or life. The game of life. The Simpsons. Pretty cool box. Always got great packaging with the Simpson products. Always love the packaging. And there's the back. There's Homer right there. It's the Simpsons. It kind of just gives you all of the uh, little thing that the that comes in there. All the parts. Anyways. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're making out. Anyways. <laughs> Poor Mrs. K. Uh, oops. I'm just going to fix that up there. So the box, I mean, all the parts are in there. The thing is, you have to assemble these things. And I remember, you know, the, the worst part of this thing was putting all these darn stickers on. As you can see uh, right there, it tore, um, taking it off the sticker sheet, I remember, um, and it ripped. So they're, they're really delicate, and you have to, like, really fit it on there properly. So there's all these little parts that you have to put all these uh, sticker pieces on. Well, let's take a look at the board afterwards. Um, comes with a really cool money tray. This was the thing I kind of liked about it. So that's that's the money tray right there. Um, you can see it's kind of got slots in there. There's little slots to, to put each one in there. So if you're the banker, you can kind of keep the money organized. I like that. You know, you don't get things like that in, in like other games like um, uh, Monopoly and stuff. At least the ones that I've owned never had really things like this. Maybe some of the more uh, advanced ones, or you know, the ones that they sell premium games or whatever. But uh, yeah, I mean, so money is pretty typical. It's colored money, just like our Canadian money. It's it's colored. Um, so you got ten thousand there, and of course, Mr. Burns on there. Who else would be on the money? I got five. Uh, was that twenty thousand dollars? And fifty thousand dollars. So you can see there's a lot of money going on here. A lot of expensive things. $5,000. I think that's uh, what's the uh, orange one here. $100,000. Now you're playing with money. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember the, the amounts being this high when I was a kid. I think they, they've changed it due to inflation. So let's just put that back there and take a look at what else we got in the box. Everything's kind of a mess in here. Uh, that's the other thing. This game doesn't put away you know very well because of all the parts it's kind of hard to put stuff away so you got these cards these are like your salary cards here um, and it's it's something you use to uh, determine what your salary is going to be at the beginning of the game again this was a different thing that they've added on to, to the game of life I remember when I was a kid you, you didn't have that option you you literally had to land on the the salary or on the you know you, you figured it out by moving your, your token you didn't have a card that actually told you this is how much money you're going to make, this is your job, and all that stuff. So, and there's that's pretty cool that they have all the characters in there. So you got the, the Bee Man, Bumblebee Man, Mikusto Dinero, <laughs> uh, Bart Icarumba, of course, that was his signature line, well, one of his signatures. Apu, come again. Um, as of now, Apu, I don't believe, is going to be a character on The Simpsons anymore. I think they've uh, taken him off. Due to the fact that he was uh, not voiced by somebody from his culture. Uh, we got Barney. Blah, uh, what's he say? Yep. Wow. Blah. <laughs> of course, they all have their own things. Their own amount of money. Duffman. Oh, yeah. We got here. Homer. Woo. -hoo. <laughs> I mean, just playing this game for the artwork is fun alone. And there's Mr. Burns and his signature. Excellent. Sorry, I can't do voices like that. Um, stocks. So you got the stocks. Now, again, this was, I, I remember they had something to do with stocks. I think there was like a long strip 
and you kind of put money down or something or, or your stock certificates or something it was different i mean the game played a little bit different but yeah these, these are the stocks mother moving stock certificate so you can i don't think there's uh, oh okay so they're all um senior ding dong if you saw that episode of the simpsons that was cool it was this itchy and scratchy i guess that was um i don't know what this is mother loving super carp i don't remember that in the simpsons oh mr plow Mr. Plow King? That's weird. Wasn't it either just Mr. Plow or Plow King? <laughs> Acne Grease Company. I think that's the one where Homer was trying to sell grease and, and make money, I think. Costington's Department Store. Globex. Was that not um, that guy, Scorpio, or whatever his name was? Southern Cracker Company. Oh. I guess they've taken a lot of these just from the show. Burns O'Dine Industries. I don't remember that one either. Uh, then you got the career cards. So you got, uh, you can be mayor. <laughs> degree required. So you actually have to have a, a degree to get this job. And I know throughout the game, you, you switch careers, you, you change it up. So public servant. Uh, oh, Dr. Hibbert. <laughs> and comic book guy <laughs> worst investment ever <laughs> uh again with a poo i guess you could uh work at the quickie mart there's uh homer in the in the uh nuclear plant having a meltdown <laughs> gonna work at the nuclear plant be crusty the clowns what, what would you be with crust crusty the clown tv star okay so you could be a tv star uh, you could be brown nose smithers. You could just polish apples for your boss, I guess. And then we got the deeds to the houses, the house deeds. Um, so this is the uh, yokel shack. This would be probably the cheapest one, I'm assuming. Forty thousand. You get Cletus's little yokel shack with all his uh, children running around. Uh, the old Quimby place. It's a Mary, Mayor Quimby. One hundred eighty thousand dollars. Worth a lot of money. Chrome Condo. There's Patty and Selma right there. Showbiz Showplace. I don't, know. don't know what that's from. I don't remember. Is that uh, Unky Herb? No. What is that? I if, if you guys remember, I don't know. Throw it down there. I don't remember what that is. Um, Seaworthy Houseboat. Oh, that would be the uh, captain. Looks like we have the uh, three-eyed fish there, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Suspiciously nice a uh, frame. What's that from? Wolf Castle. <laughs> Wolf Castle. Wolf Castle. <laughs> so, so you can own his uh, his mansion there. And the nuclear family home. So that's uh, the tip. The, the Simpson house. And I, oh, we got another salary card thrown in there, Lisa. I guess the cards got all mun jumbled up. Oh. And crusty, hey! So oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the other stuff you get in here, I guess you get these like insurance things, so you can actually buy insurance. Of course, they have old Gil on the front there. Uh, he, he showed up in a lot of the old Simpson episodes. I don't know if he's still around or not. He's always in some kind of a tight position or working in some kind of job that uh, really sucks. Uh, oh, there's for the mafia guy. So this is a promissory note. Yeah, you you want to pay that back because. Um, He'll come in and take your legs. <laughs> and of course, this one's appropriate. Automobile insurance with Otto. <laughs> Always crashing his bus. So yeah, these things actually do come in handy if you if you purchase them. So let's take a look at what else we got going on in here. So as you can see, I've already put stuff into a baggie. Um, there's all these little things that you know allow you to make extra money while you're playing the game. Uh, these little tokeny things, and uh, you collect them and you put them face down, and at the end of the game you see how much money you get. It's it's kind of weird. I I don't know. I don't know why they had to add in that part. And of course, the cars. Now the the cars are probably supposed to be Homer's. Uh, oh, it's it's not actually rolling there. It's supposed to be Homer's like uh, or Marge's. Um, 
what do you call these station wagon thing or something I guess uh, but they follow suit with the whole boys or blue pink girl uh, the little pegs so when you're playing the game you put the pegs in as you get children you got all different colors you see here there's more there's an orange one in here the cars don't change the, the cars are all the same so they didn't decide to like give you different cars based on the color or anything like that and of course what else we got we got the spinner so then if you ever feel like you want to play something like i don't know wheel of fortune you got your little spinner um yeah this is really just to replace dice that's all it is um so you're constantly spinning this thing you land on a lot of the uh the, the uh, parts in the board and uh it'll tell you to spin for a number and then that's that's what you get of some sort um it's kind of a novel idea i kind of like spinning it, it's kind of you know it breaks apart the whole monotony of always having to roll a die you get to do uh you know this game you get to spin um yeah there's a little added touch to that and of course you got all the little pieces here uh, all these things you have to connect to the board before you start playing because they're actually part of the board <laughs> they're not just for uh novel pieces uh but they do have the buildings so you got like the nuclear power plant um and these are just for for decoration uh they're not really required to play the game you got the mansion it's kind of white it's hard to see uh, they don't really detail these things. Even in the uh, in the original Game of Life, they didn't really detail them. I mean, there's some detail, but there's, they're not colored or anything like that. I think that's like a... Is that like the school? or No, it looks maybe like the Quickie Mart. It actually tells you on the board. So you got all these little pieces. you got to put it all together. That's the thing about this game is you do have to set it up. There is some setup time uh, just to get it up. So let's take a look at the board folds out again they they've changed things around i remember when boards were like stiff like that and you did they didn't fold um and so it, the box was longer oftentimes and then it just opened up one way so problem with it doing this way is it's hard to hold it up for the camera as you can see i'm having a hard time here holding it up for the camera so we'll we'll have to do a different view of it Okay, so we have it set up now. Um, well, mostly. I mean, I was kind of getting confused as to where a lot of these uh, these parts went. Um, they're supposed to all be labeled, but I'm looking everywhere on these things, and I'm not finding um, where it's labeled. Like, there's supposed to be a little letter that tells you where it goes. And on the board, it, it actually says where these things go. Um, these were all labeled fine, which is easy to figure out anyways. I mean, you can just go by the shape of it. And uh, you'll see over here, well, I figured out the nuclear plant was supposed to go there. Because that, that just made sense. Of course, that was there. And then there was another one over here. Um, I like how it is three-dimensional. You know, I, I always like board games like that. Games like Fireball Island and things like that. Unfortunately, it's just that whole setup thing to, to have to, you know, put it together. So as you can see, I was like, you know, where the, where the heck do these things go? Um, I mean, they're not critical to the gameplay. It's just aesthetics. It's just if you want the whole Springfield experience, you got to do that. And of course, the centerpiece here for your little spin thing, spin madoodle, whatever you want to call it. And over here, that's that's pretty much where the game starts. Um, you know, you got your get an education thing or go for a job. This didn't actually change either. Uh, I remember that in the original game where you had to decide, do you want to go for uh, schooling or did you want to get a job? <laughs> so it was really up to you on how you thought, you know, and if you if you go for the job route, obviously um, right here you can uh, fast track. Whereas if you go to school, it takes you longer, just like in real life. So that's, that's pretty cool that they kept it that way. Of course, there's uh, Smithers and also the uh, getting married thing. Uh, that was another thing. Now, that's the thing about this game is, is they do make it mandatory <laughs> on a lot of these things. Like, it actually says, you know, stop. You, you have to stop. You have to stop and get married. Um, you know, this game is not up to date as modern as it could be. You know, giving you the option, do you want to get married? And, and you know, all that other kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an okay game. It's like I said, there's a little bit of setup involved. Um, you need some time. 
Now, the only thing that I can say that uh, I'm not 100% crazy about the game of life is that, kind of like with Monopoly, it's literally just rolling, spinning, whatever, and whatever you land on, that's what you get. I guess they're just trying to show that uh, that's sort of the way life works, is that uh, you're kind of dealt with the, the hand you get. But, in, in you know, in real life, you do actually make a lot more decisions, so it would have been cool if they would have incorporated a little bit more of the choices and stuff like that. Other than that, game's cool. It's fun. There's a rainbow thing. I can't remember what that's for. Um, but yeah, the rules are have changed throughout the years. And um, no matter what, it's still always going to be a fun game. In fact, even playing it on the um, PlayStation and stuff like that, uh, I remember having fun doing that a while ago. Um, and it's, you know, it's the same experience. It's the same thing. You land on the spaces. You get, uh, you, you know, kind of land on your job, you, you just kind of get thrown into a career, you get the money, uh, the salary, which you can trade and change and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's a fun game no matter where you play it. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think. I mean, it's Simpsons themed. Anything Simpsons themed is usually cool in my books. It's a lot more fun playing it that way than just the original uh, game of life. They didn't really do any difference to the game. They just kind of added the, the artwork and the characters and that's about it. Just like the game of Clue that I talked about earlier. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.